So PRIDS2 is a method for managing a project. It's not a guide for project managers, um, but it's actually a, 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 a process-based approach for how a group of people can work together to deliver a specific project outcome. PRINCE2 comprises a set of principles that defines the sort of overarching guiding obligations for what makes a PRINCE2 project. It contains a process life cycle that describes the um, activities that need to be done when, by whom, over the life of the project. It includes a number of themes and these describe the, uh, uh, the recurring things that need to be done on a project um, all the time. So these are things such as risk management, change control, planning, uh, uh, monitoring progress and, and so on. And it also includes a set of role descriptions describing the responsibilities of the people involved in the project and a number of product descriptions describing the information that's needed to be produced and maintained by the project in order for the various people involved to make decisions or to take instruction. So, Prince2 benefits um, everyone involved in a project. So there's guidance in Prince2 for those people who sponsor or direct a project. In fact, there's some specific processes for those people in the directing a project um, process. Um, it helps those people who are managing the project. And so there's specific processes and guidance for the project manager and the project support role. Uh, and there's also um, uh, guidance in there for those people working within the project team so that's people that are perhaps um, uh, producing outputs uh, that the project's been set up to, to deliver. And there's a set of processes and guidance for what we call team managers. These are people reporting to the, to the project manager. So it's not specific to any one person or any one role. So it's not just for project managers. It's a method for how a group of people work together uh, when they um, collectively manage a project.